Hiya! We're in lockdown, obviously. This is the UK's, we're coming into our fourth week now. First of all, my skin has been going through it. Can we, can we discuss this situation? Have you ever, have you ever seen? <laughs> it hasn't been ideal. And I'm not somebody that even gets spots or blemishes like that. So this is insane to me. My skin has been like this for like, three or four weeks now. It has been bad, it has been better, it's been bad again. It has been way worse than this. It's actually calming down a little bit, believe it or not. And I'm still in the process of trying to get rid of it. I haven't been wanting to film videos because of it. Like it is, it's it makes me feel uncomfortable. For me, it's like, even though it's normal, people go through it, it's reality. It just, it makes me feel like this is all people are gonna be looking at. But it's not the end of the world. It's something that can be fixed. I'll talk about it when it goes. I don't really find it beneficial watching a video of someone that's going through the exact same thing that I am and they haven't been able to get rid of it. Like I need to know what you used, how long for, I need results, like I need all of that. So I would rather talk about that once I actually get rid of this, if I get rid of this. It's been like a month now and I'm so surprised it's still here. Maybe this is my life now. But yeah, enough about my skin. We're not even talking about my skin in this video. As I said to you before, we are coming into week four of lockdown in the UK. And obviously I haven't been able to get any beauty treatments done that I usually get. I get my nails done every week or every 10 days. My eyebrows usually get done every two to three weeks. When this lockdown started, I said to myself, I'm gonna leave my nails, grow my eyebrows out, not do anything to them, you know, put a lot of treatments in my hair, which I have been doing. I have been like looking after my my hair a lot but like a week ago i gave in to my eyebrows and i threaded them at this rate we honestly don't know how long we're going to be in lockdown for so so i decided i can't cope i can't go abroad or tan or anything like that so i might have to use self tanner which i don't like doing but if i get too pale I think I'm gonna have to. But yeah, I just decided I can't grow my nails out. I can't grow my eyebrows out. I wish I could. And if I wasn't, you know, if this wasn't my job and I wasn't in this industry, then I possibly would. But when it comes down to photos and my videos and stuff like that, I like everything to look done. The aesthetic is better. It looks more clean. It's just what I like. And even though everyone knows what we're going through, no one wants to look. No one wants to see this. No one wants to see this. So I took it upon myself to order everything that I need in order to do what I need to do during this time. So I am trained in beauty therapy. I studied beauty therapy in college level two and three. So I sort of have an understanding and an idea of what to do, but it's been years since college. I have not needed to do my own nails, do anyone else's nails or treatments for a very, very long time but we're gonna try. It will see how this goes. And it, it is a little bit harder to do it on yourself. With my brows, I threaded them not too long ago. I taught myself, I didn't get trained to do that in college. In college, we only learned how to wax eyebrows and, you know, what's the word? Pluck. <laughs> I will probably show you guys how to thread your own eyebrows once my eyebrows are grown out again. They're not too bad right now, so there's like no point. I'll most likely do that video on IGTV though, so make sure you guys are following me on Instagram if you are not already. So today I'm gonna laminate my brows. I'm gonna start off with that. I'm gonna laminate and tint them. Usually, I need to open this. So I've had my eyebrows laminated before, once, and I absolutely, I loved how it turned out. Honestly, I was like, are these my brows? You don't understand. I used to have the thinnest eyebrows. <coughs> so, so thin, so, so thin. But they're still quite light and sparse. So I need something to, you know, boom. But my eyebrows used to be thin. I never, I never even thought I'd get it like this, to be honest with you. But yeah, I got my eyebrows laminated before by my best friend, who is a eyebrow and lash technician. I know, lucky me. I've got a best friend that does 
all that sort of shit. But obviously, because we're in lockdown, I haven't been able to see her. Even before lockdown, I hadn't seen, so I haven't seen G for like nearly two months now. Oh, duh. It comes with these little thingies, but I bought a packet thinking that it doesn't come with it, but why would it not come with it? It's a, it's a kit. At least I've got spares now, it's fine. But as I was saying, G went to Dubai, and then because she went to Dubai, I was self-isolating anyway, because I'm very weary. I don't want to get sick. I don't want anyone else to get sick. I don't want my loved ones to get sick. I don't want strangers to get sick. I just, I'm just doing my part to like prevent coronavirus, you know? But yeah, once she came back from Dubai, I wasn't seeing anybody and then lockdown happened. And then, yeah, so I haven't seen her for like nearly two months. I miss her so much. So this is the kit that I got. It's actually a lash lift kit, but the lash lifting kits and the eyebrow kits, they, they basically do the same thing. Although someone did DM me and said that the lash lifting kits usually are stronger. So do it for less time. So I'll take that on board. So it comes with this stuff. I'm not gonna lie to you, I have no idea what I'm doing. I literally have no idea. So I'm just gonna go with the flow. You guys can watch me either make a disaster of my brows or do something. Right, it says use cleanser number four to remove oil, dust, dirt, and makeup residue. Okay. Cute. You guys, I'm so excited. And I know I know a lot of people don't like this look. A lot of people are like, why would anybody want their eyebrows to look like that? Everyone looks so angry with their eyebrows like that. But honestly, I I fucks with it. Okay, apply the eye pads. Well, I really don't need that because I'm not doing my eyes. I'm gonna start by brushing them up. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> I really hope I don't mess this up. I will cry. But if it does get messed up, then this is like, this is the time. So I'm just gonna, oh, it stinks. I'm just gonna apply this on the brow. So what G did was she put a little bit on and then she would use this thing and then scrape it. What way does she scrape it though? What, what end did she use it with? Was it with this bit? Oh my God, I don't know. Was it with this bit? Or was it with this bit? <laughs> oh my God. I really, I don't know. I feel like none of them are working that well. Let me zoom you in more. Not that I want to because my freaking skin. I feel like it's not really standing up. I don't know what end I'm meant to use. Oh, that just pulled a hair out. Okay, maybe I, I will not use that bit. Let me show you. You guys, don't use that end. Let's just use this bit. I don't, I really, I'm very unsure. Where's my phone? G. Hi, honey. You know when you use this thing, yeah? When you use this thing, what end are you meant to use? This bit or this bit? What do you mean? Across the... Wait, what have you put on your eyebrows first? Don't matter. Don't worry about what I put on my eyebrows first. I've done that bit. That should be the first thing you do, though. What? Do you not scrape it first? Yeah, but I put it on and then obviously you're meant to like try and stand it up. But are you meant to do it with this part? Or this part. Scrape and flatten it. But do you hold it from this end then? What's the difference? How was you holding it? I'm so confused. You tell me what you're doing. I don't know what I'm doing, which is why I'm ringing you. <laughs> yeah, but when you're doing it, yeah, when you're doing it, are you doing it? Why are you using that? There's no fucking. Is there a comb on that? This part pulled out a fucking eyebrow hair, G. Maybe it was loose, Jay. I'm filming for YouTube right now. Oh Say hi to everyone. Hey, hey. Hold it the other way. So you're scraping it up and scrape it onto the skin. So like flatten it. Flatten the thing. Flatten it. Yeah, like that. You got it. It doesn't look like it's staying though. Yeah, I feel the same way. <laughs> Hold on. 
Stay tuned. It's not. <laughs> yeah, but it was what solution are you using? just this like lash perming one. Did you not watch my stories? Did you not see what I've been buying? It had really good reviews. I saw people's pictures and I thought, I'm sold. Yeah, right, I'm gonna go. Okay, well, let me know. Show me how they come out. All right, love you, bye. Love you. I'm honestly, I'm so confused. I feel like when G did it, it stood up way more. Right, whatever. Okay, now I'm gonna use step two. I feel like that's sticking it up more, if anything, to be honest with you. Oh my god, that stuck it up way better. I feel like we're getting somewhere. Okay, I'm gonna use this again and put them in place. Right, I'm gonna quickly do the other bra because I don't want this one to be developing for a long time. One thing I will say though, it is extremely hard for my brows to stay up in general. So before I ever got laminating done, if I tried to brush my brows up, they would just come back down like straight away. Like I could never get that really fluffy, like, you know when people use the soap brows, that shit doesn't really work on me. So I don't know what my brows problems are, but yeah. So basically, what is going on with my forehead? I'm not going to go too much into detail about it because this video is like not really about that. But basically, I've got... I think I've got a mixture of fungal acne and closed comedones on my forehead. And I feel like I know why it happened. Okay, and then I'm going to use some of this like cling film you can just use normal cling film i just want it to be extra and buy this everything that i've got by the way is from amazon lovely i'm gonna leave this on for like another six minutes i feel like it's definitely been on for like three or four minutes already it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up wait you guys they ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because Wait, have I done it wrong? I think... What if you put on your eyebrows first? Don't matter, don't worry about what I put on my eyebrows first. I've done that bit. <laughs> Fuck! Guys, I've done it wrong, I've done it wrong. <laughs> we gotta get this shit off ASAP. Where's the cleanser? Do not follow what I've just done. Camera battery's low. Let me get another one. It is. It's not the one. A few moments later. Uh, What's wrong, darling? Nothing. Okay. I'm just filming a video. Come say hi to YouTube. Hi, Lucy. In the kitchen, well, why the why the kitchen like her? Bye. Peace out. Peace out. <laughs> Can I have a kiss? Mm. <gasps> that was a sloppy one. <laughs> okay, so I've done it completely wrong. Right, let's start again. Right, I'm going to brush them off. <laughs> this is what I'm meant to use first. The instructions got me confused. Because obviously, this is instructions for like eyes, even though it doesn't matter. I still use the wrong thing. It doesn't matter if it was for eyes or brows. I still use the wrong thing. Simple. Let me take a... I'm going to use a fresh one of these as well. Kind of got loads anyway, you know. I'll probably be able to do this quicker this time. Will it work any better? Let's see. Yeah, that's 10 times well. I should have watched someone else's YouTube videos before doing this. So I knew what I was doing. But what's the fun in that? Oh yeah, this is so much better. Glue is on. Let me put the other one on. Let me tell G she was right. Hi Georgina, just to let you know, um, I was using the wrong thing. So I apologize <laughs> when I assumed that I was using the right thing. Okay, bye. Oh, hello. How dare I think I know what I'm doing over her. I'm quite enjoying the process, you know. It's quite relaxing. Okay, now I put this one on. The people that actually know how to do it must have been cringing at me. 
Okay, now I'm gonna leave that on. I'm gonna leave that on for like another six minutes. I'm scared my eyebrows are gonna fall out or something. Okay, it says you've gotta like brush your brows out with one of these spoolie things. Okay, now I've gotta use this one. Okay, it's been eight minutes, but I just wanna, I'm just gonna take it off now because I'm just weary. And it says on the box to leave the lashes for 10 to 12 minutes. So maybe for brows, I should do less time. Right, now I'm gonna take this stuff. I think it's like an oil. I'm just gonna wipe my brows with that. Tint. I need like a little dish or something. I got this Ilo one and then I got this one. Can you focus? Focus on me. Both from Amazon. This one's a brown, this one's a black. Um, I couldn't find any dark browns on Prime, so I just thought I'd get these and mix them together. Oh, cute. It has a little... Oh, now I don't have to roll my pot. So one of the things that I trained in in college is tinting. So... I should know what I'm doing, but I'm just gonna read over the instructions. I always get my brows threaded at Blink Brow Bar, and when I go there, I will get my eyebrows tinted. And what they do, they use this, and they sort of like run it through the brow, and I, I like it. So I'm gonna do that. It basically says, just use a little bit of this, add in a few drops, and apply it. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of this one in. I don't think it should matter that they're two different brands. I hope that it doesn't. And then I'm gonna put a little bit of this one in. So it looks like that. And then I'm gonna add some of the activator. Oh, oh, that was not some. I'm just gonna take some cotton pad and just try and soak a little bit of it. Oh, that worked a bit too well. I'm gonna mix it up with the end of this. Voila. And then I'm just gonna get the stuff and run it through my brows. You wanna work quite quickly with tint because once the developer is like with the tint, it just starts developing. So you don't wanna leave it in this dish thing because your brows won't get the full effect because it's just sitting developing in there. And you know, you want it to develop on your brows, not like, in the dish. Okay, that's been on my brows for like five minutes. It's looking pretty dark, huh? I'm gonna use that same oil stuff that came with the perming kit. Not bad. G does do it better, I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'm just gonna go around and slightly thread some bits and tweeze. I'm not gonna go fully into like what I do. I just enjoy some music and Watch me a little bit. Are done. As I said to you guys before, some people like it, some people won't. If you don't like it, you don't have to do it. You never know, I might come out of this phase and change my brows, but for now, this is what I like. And I actually think that when I do my makeup, it makes it so much easier. I'm gonna clear this section up because it's looking a mess. And then we're gonna go on to nails. This took so much longer than I thought it would, honestly. And I feel like next time I'll leave the tint on for a little bit longer. I'm using this lockdown for trial and error, okay? By the way, ignore this. My brother's staying here. And this is what we're working with. Cause the bedrooms are taken. So end of August 2019, I came back from Jamaica. So like start of September, right at the start of September, I took off my acrylic nails. 
Acrylics used to be my thing. I used to get like long ratchet nails and I loved it. I still love that look, but my nails had become so weak to the point where my nails kept on splitting like halfway through the nail. And if your nail has spl ever split before, you will know how much it hurts. It especially hurts underneath your acrylic because the pressure of the acrylic is still on there. Anyway, it had become a point where it was happening all the time to multiple nails like at the same time and it was so painful and I thought to myself if I carry on like this I'm not even going to have any nails to put acrylics on even if I want acrylics so I'm going to have to stop. So I took a break, my little finger like I had like on one of my pinkies it had completely split and like ripped off so I had like the tiniest nail on there it was pathetic but in time it has grown out and I'm so, so, so happy. At first, I was just getting gel, but my nails were breaking every single time because they're so thin and so weak. So then my nail technician was like, why don't you try SNS?" and s And I was like, what is s and s And she was like, it's basically like a dip, dip in powder situation. It's your own nails, you don't use any tips. You're literally like just coating your nails with a layer of powder and it will help your nails to like grow. So I was like, okay, fine, like I'll try it. I actually didn't think it would work. I don't know why I didn't think it would work. I just thought my nails would keep breaking, but you guys, it literally changed my life. So as you can see, some of my nails, like some are shorter than others because sometimes they do break, but they don't really break. They never split, like they never split my nails, but these are my natural nails apart from this one. So as you can see with this one, I'm gonna have to like shorten them all now. But basically this one did break and I wanted it to match this one because before lockdown I thought that I was going to go to the PLT award show. By the way, thank you so much for um, all the votes. I think Pretty Little Thing did like share something on their live of me saying thank you. But thank you for that. I really, really appreciate it. Super shocked. Literally first award I've ever been nominated for and I won. So it's really, really shocking. But thank you guys so much for your votes. You really, really didn't have to. But you held it down for your girl. Oh. Period. Anyway, I always get distracted. So yeah, I thought I was going to go to the PLT award show, but obviously it's not happening because of everything that's going on. I wanted my nails to be longer, so I wanted this one to match. So I made the decision to get an acrylic on that one. Otherwise, I would have just got them all short and just tried to grow them all out again, which is what I'm going to do now because I'm on lockdown, doesn't really matter. But yeah, but the rest, these are all my nails and I can't believe that they're even this long. But anyway, I'm talking. I always talk too much. I'm so sorry. With the prep and stuff, I'm just going to do one hand at a time. I'm going to use a file. I'm going to try and remember what they do like at the shop. So I'm just going to start filing down. Let me get a towel. I got like a big set of like files. So it came with like this and it came with like a bunch of them. And then it came with this and this. And I think something else. I can't remember what. But it came with all of those from Amazon. I can't remember how much it was. But I don't think it was expensive. But I'll link everything that I used from Amazon down below. I'm going to file them down whilst this is still on as well. Because my nails are still quite weak. So I feel like if I file them when this is off it might break. This one already came off and it broke. So I'm so sad about how much I'm having to bring it down for this so long. My battery's dying again, are you joking? Well, I've got another one on charge, so. This is gonna take me 10 million years. hands down but can you see these have no tips these are all my nails and then this one you can see where my natural nails grow in and I really don't know if I should just like bring them all completely down or just leave it and just wait for that one to just grow out but we'll see how much of a difference it looks once it's all like come on good father's hand now all right so now I'm gonna get some cotton pads these ones are just from Tesco I'm gonna get my acetone this one's from Boots but I sort of just like dip it in Put it on the finger and then get a foil. These are a bit big, hold on. Gonna get some foil and just like wrap it. Oh God, this is so difficult. 
There we go. This finger is bendy, by the way. I don't know if anyone's ever noticed. If you have, and you've always wondered why, I broke my finger when I was little, and it's always been bendy ever since. My mum, she pre-cut some foil. How cute is she? I'm in so much pain. Oh. The thing is as well is that I'm not even on yet. This is before. I'm gonna leave this to soak for like 10, 15 minutes. 15 minutes later. Oh yeah. So it's starting to come off now. So that's what we want. So I'm just gonna take my little cuticle for Chanel and push, like scrape it off. I'm so sorry. Waste the time, I waste the time. Why you dirty wine? It's whatever. Yeah, the sweat it drips upon my sweater. It's hot in here, the outside's better. Yeah. Alright, so that's one off. It's like emotions receding. Let's call it an evening. It's getting desperate. Yeah. Okay, so one hand's done, this is what it looks like. Still don't know if I'm gonna cut these all down to the same size as that. I'm thinking I'm just gonna leave it. Like that one, that will grow out, you know? I'm gonna do this hand now. So that's all off. Now I'm gonna work on my cuticles. Now I'm gonna go in with Sally Hansen's Instant Cuticle Remover. I bought this from Amazon. I'm just gonna put it on my cuticles and I'm gonna leave it on there for like 15 seconds. You guys, I'm in so much pain, honestly. <laughs> Oh, every month. So I'm gonna use this cuticle pusher, the metal one, and push everything back. I did also buy some wooden cuticle pushers and they can be a little bit more gentle on your cuticles, but because I feel like this will take off, if I've missed any like gel and stuff, this will take off like any excess. So yeah, I'm just using this side and pushing it all back. You can see it already starting to come off. I'm gonna just use my cuticle nippers and nip off any bits that need it. I also bought these from Amazon. Okay, so cuticle work is done. I nipped my finger too much on this cuticle, but I'll live. So as I was saying to you guys before, I usually do get SNS. Yes, yeah, so I wasn't able to get SNS, but what I got instead was this acrylic powder and it's by a brand called SND. Got this from Amazon, never used it before. Don't know how it's gonna go. We'll see. So with SNS, what you would usually do is they put this stuff on and then you would dip the finger in the powder. All I've got to use, which will work, gel polish. So what I'm gonna do is use base coat and then spoon. You'll see, you'll see. But this is the brand that I've got for gel polishes. This is also from Amazon. And I bought this because it comes with like 20 different nail polishes. And it was so, so cheap. So I, I don't know if it's gonna last or anything like that. But I got this because I didn't know what colors would be best. And they're just 20 mini bottles. I literally, when I got everything, I literally just picked up what I could get from Prime. Cause I was like, I need this stuff ASAP. And then it comes with, a full size top coat, base coat, and a full size matte top coat. It's quite cute actually, this blue. That's cute. But I always go for a nude, so do I pick the blue? Let me see what the nude looks like. Mom! Hiya, I need your help. I don't know what color to pick. Do you think I should go for this blue? It's quite cute actually. Okay. Oh, shit. Or do you think I should go for this pink? 
I know. I like the blue. Yeah, me too. You use you wear neutral a lot. I do. Every time. So let's go for blue. Why not, right? Let's switch it up. Okay. Let's do this. Thank you. You're welcome. Right, so I'm gonna show you on the table what I'm doing. So what I'm gonna do is just get the base coat. Oh yeah, I forgot to show you this. I got my gel lamp. This is also from Amazon. But anyway, and you don't wanna like pack it on too much. You don't want it to look too thick. And then what I see them do in the shop is they don't really start, they don't go all the way through the nail. Hold on, let me zoom you in. So when they do the first layer, they don't put the base coat on at the start. They sort of just do it halfway. They don't use base coat, but you get what I mean. Whatever they use, it's halfway. <laughs> I'm just going to do those two for now. Get the powder. I've got this little spoon that came in the package once. And I'm just going to put it on like that. Tap it off again. Tap it off. I'm going to do the others. Listen. Seeing you got ritualistic. It's so sad that my thumbnail broke, but I'm not cutting that one down. I'm sorry. Okay, so that is on. I'm gonna just put my lamp on for 60 seconds. It has a light that comes on and I'm gonna put my hand in for 60 seconds. I'm just gonna do another 30 seconds just to be safe. Oh yeah, and the powder color is just clear and I always get clear. I never, even when I go to the shop, I don't get SNS with color. I always get it done clear and then they use whatever gel polish they want every time. So now I'm just gonna dust that excess off with, it's not focused, I'm sorry. I'm gonna just dust it off with a makeup brush make sure it's clean and then i'm going to repeat the same process but this time i'm going to go right to the base of the nail so at this point you sort of just feel and see if they feel strong enough mine do to be fair yeah, mine do. I'm just gonna leave it with two coats, I think, you know. Am I? No, let me just, let me do one more to be safe. You guys, I just realized something. I'm meant to put nail dehydrator and nail primer on. I completely forgot. So I got this one from Amazon. It's kind of, it's very important for this. Basically the gel and the dipping stuff might just it might just start peeling off because i didn't use this so if you are doing this at home make sure you get this it really really helps and um, they always use it in the nail shop i'm just gonna carry on just because i'm already here but i will use that next time for sure i need to smooth everything down a little bit just to make sure it's all even oh my god you guys, it just cracked. I'm gonna just do this one again. Do the same dipping process with the other hand and then I will see you guys soon. I've realized something as well. I've realized that I'm not very good at shaping nails. You know, I go to the nail shop and if they can't shape my nails, I get very frustrated because I just think, how can you not shape nails? Like, but I've just tried and I'm not very good myself. Although I've done better than some nail technicians. And to be fair, like, you know, I'm in a nail shop. So now I'm gonna paint my nails, going with blue, color 333. Make sure there's no fluff and stuff on your nails because that is the worst. And apply base coat. It is quite a few layers, but you wanna keep the layers quite thin so that it doesn't look too thick. Also with lamps, apparently you wanna get a LED gel lamp and not a UV gel lamp. Apparently the LED ones are a lot better, but I'm gonna link this one below anyway. But if you do buy one, just read reviews, see what people think. That's what I did anyway. I don't even know if this one's any good. I don't even know if I can recommend this one yet. It seems to be doing a good job at curing. Okay, 60 seconds in. I hope it's pigmented, otherwise I'm gonna be pissed. Seems okay.
Make sure as well when you're doing it, you guys get the tip. Okay, top coat is going on now. You could put another coat on if you wanted to. I feel like it's fine. I don't want it to get too thick, so I'm just gonna leave it like this. Wait, hold on guys. I just need to just update, okay? Let me put this lump on. Oh, oh I really don't enjoy this lighting right now. So it's eight o'clock. This has taken me hours. Hello. That's not normal. Anyway, I'm gonna, I'm in the room with my little brother who's not little anymore. He literally turned 20 the other day. And my mum, this, you don't have to like wipe it off or anything. And I was saying to my mum how I kind of wish I'd done like the pinky nude. Cause I just feel like with blues, I only like it on my long ratchet nails. You know what I mean? Like I feel like I need my nails to be a little bit longer and then I like it. But with nudes or like very light pinks, I always feel done and just, you know, but I do like it. Let me show you guys what it looks like. Oh yeah, I put some oil on my fingers. You can just use like coconut oil or whatever, but I want it to be bougie. And I wanted it to be like salon-like for me and my mum when we do nails and stuff. So I just thought I'd get a bougie one and she really likes it. I've got this from Amazon. But let me show you guys my nails. I actually didn't do too bad. Mum, write my fingers. Oh, 100%. <laughs> Oh, 100%. Oh, definitely, 100%. Shanice, if you ever watch this, 100%, babe. All right, guys, so I'm gonna end the vlog here. I'm gonna wash my face and all that stuff now. I'm sure I've got like loads of nail shit all over me. I will be doing more videos during this lockdown, probably more chatty ones or stuff that to not do with makeup because I really, I don't, I don't feel comfortable filming makeup tutorials. You know when you do your makeup and you put all that effort in and then you don't like it in the end and then it's just like, that's what I've been feeling like with my skin. For Instagram pictures and stuff, it's not been too bad because in certain lightings, when I've got makeup on, you can't really see the bumps that much. I know I keep complaining about it, but I'm just uncomfortable. Anyway, I'm going. Thanks for watching.